皆様こんばんはショータイムの時間です私黒柳徹子です今晩は二大女優による楽しくて大笑いのバラエティショーをお届け申し上げますイギリス代表のジュリー・アンドリュースそしてアメリカ代表のキャロル・バーネットという顔合わせですジュリー・アンドリュースはもう皆様よくご存知映画「サンド・オブ・ミュージック」「メリー・ポピンズ」などアカデミー賞に輝くミュージカル女優ですそしてもう一人のキャロル・バーネットですけども彼女はアメリカのテレビ界の大スーパースターなんですけども日本ではあまりおなじみではないんですがミュージカル女優で何しろアメリカで11年間放送されましたバラエティ番組「キャロル・バーネット賞」でアメリカの年間最優秀テレビ作品に贈られるエミー賞を3度も受けています。2人が初めてコンビを組んだのは1962年のことです昭和37年ですからもうずいぶん前になります今回で3回目の賞になりますがその間本当に講師ともに仲がいいんだそうですですからお互いもう相手にひどいことを言うんですけども2人が本当は仲がいいんだということをみんなが知っているので安心して見られるのだと思いますそれにしてもこの2人は本当によく似てるんですまず見たところ本当にそっくりです背の高さそれから髪の毛の形それから顔立ちですねぴったりですそれから2人がパッと洋服を脱ぐとこがあるんですけども2人の客船美素敵なんですけどこれもとても足の格好も似ていますキャロル・バーネット56歳ジュリアン・ドリス55歳ここのところも似ていますでもそれにしてもあのちょっとおすまし屋さんのジュリアン・ドリュースが笑わせることにかけては天才的なキャロル・バーネットと組むとこんなにも面白いちょっとドリフターズも顔負けというギャグを連発して笑わせるというのはもうすごいものだというふうに思いますしこれだけの大女優がここまでやっていいのかなというほど笑わせますでもこの2人の顔ぶれがこんなに息が合ってるというのはこれだけリハーサルをしたからだと思います大変なお稽古があったからこんな素晴らしい賞ができたんだと思いますだからまた10年に一度こういう賞を作るということだと思いますが私はこのあと今3回目ですけど4回目も5回目も見たいというふうに思っておりますどうぞ最後まで皆様笑ってゆっくりご覧いただきたいと思いますではどうぞ Ladies and gentlemen Julie Andrews and Carol Burnett You start. Look at that screen over there. Take a gander at that. Oh. <laughs> Look. oh, I'm adorable. Oh, that's you. Oh. Look at the hairdos. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Did I ever apologize for that? You know, I think we've improved with age, don't well, you? I know I have. Carol, the miracle is <laughs> that we are still old friends. Nothing can kill old friends. Where there's a will, old friends don't need success to survive. But us, old friend, wants to discuss old friends. Why do you think our friendship?
relationship has lasted this long. Well, I know one of the reasons is that we have always been brutally honest with one another. That's true, it's true, it yeah. Is. We even know how old the other one is. <laughs> um, Julie, there is something that I have been meaning to tell you for a long, long time now. Mm -hmm. uh, you remember when we first met years and years ago. Yes, uh, I'm getting depressed now, and, uh, Well, when you asked me how old I was, mm -hmm. I lied. I was much younger than I told you. <laughs> much younger. How much is much? Well, I was barely in my teens. Um, I just looked a lot older than I said I was. Uh -huh, I see. <laughs> well, darling, you still do. Isn't it a miracle? <laughs> friends for so long, I thought it was time for a, a bit of a celebration. Oh. oh, you can come and look now, darling. What do you think of my dress? Oh. Do you like it? Oh, you look oh, I love. Oh, I love yours. Oh, oh, thank you. I love our medley dresses. <laughs> come on, I, I have a surprise for you. What is this? Oh. Did you do this? Well. Well, she's something. Isn't she something? It's, it's, That's wonderful. It's what just it? a typical English tea. It's tea, of course, with lemon and cream and watercress and cucumber sandwiches and egg salad sandwiches, eclairs and cream puffs and fruit salad and, and cream and, and scones and jam and clotted cream. <laughs> it's just a bit of a celebration for 25 years of friendship. Here's to 25 more. Mm. Yep. <laughs> Sit down. Goodness. You know, I ordered a cake, and they promised to deliver it on time, but wouldn't you know they haven't sent it yet? Oh, well, who needs a cake with all this? Oh, we do. We deserve one. Now, darling, do you take milk or lemon? Oh, cream, please. Cream? Oh, milk. Milk. That's fine. And one or two lumps of sugar. Do you have honey? Honey? Two lumps of sugar. Be fine. <laughs> There you go. Thank you. Isn't it hard to believe that it's been 25 years already? I mean, 25 years, it's gone by so fast. I don't know where the time has gone to, do you? Carol? I'm sorry, Julie. It's just, I am blown away by this incredible spread. Oh. It's just wild. Oh, it's just a little tea. <laughs> There's no just about it. I mean, it's, it's just face it, you English have such a way of doing things. Even making a simple cup of tea becomes an event. Oh, sometimes I, I think we Brits make just a little bit too much oh, of it. I do. Oh, thank you. Sandwich. I'll take another one of those. That looks good. That's you know, uh, we Brits do go a bit too far. I mean, you're not, not like you Americans. You're, you're so simple. You, you even use those dreadful tea bags, heaven forbid. Well, Huh. It's too bad we didn't have those dreadful tea bags back in colonial times when we were forced to dress up like Indians and we dumped the whole thing into the Boston Harbor. <laughs> It'd been a lot easier to clean up, I'll tell you. <laughs> Did I say something wrong? No. Julie, I, I was just trying to be funny. Well, some things are funnier than others. Well, I mean, after all, the Boston Tea Party was well over 200 years ago. A childish prank like that is reprehensible, no matter when it occurs. Ooh. Here. Ooh. Oh, chum, I am so sorry. Oh, my medley dress. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. Well, that's all. I, I can wash it. Well, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> Let me get a napkin or something. Oh, oh God, God, I'm sorry. Well, you know, Julie, it, it wasn't a childish prank at all. It, it happened to have been a serious protest made by heroic people. Heroic, heroic people? <laughs> Cheap opportunists who fled the mother country, my dear. Believe me. Here. Well, 
look at it this way. If you hadn't put a tax on us, we wouldn't have had to dump the whole thing into the harbor in the first place. Oh, Carol, how little you know. We imposed a tea tax to help pay for the British Army to protect you. And look at the thanks we got. Just oh, look at the thanks, thanks we got. Thanks, all right, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Are You're you happy? Welcome. Yes, oh, I am. for crying out. Oh, oh, oh. Why can you not admit? Oh that you people were only trying to find new ways to avoid paying your taxes. And just who are you to interfere with the cherished American tradition? Oh, why don't you go and recite the Pledge of Allegiance or well, something? Well, it's my pleasure. Thank you very much. And by the way, Your Highness, I never have liked tea. I much prefer coffee. Instant. Oh, uh, Carol, Carol, what? Come back here. This is, this is stupid. I, I'm very sorry. What are we doing? Sorry. Come on. Right. Come on. This is absolutely sorry, ridiculous. Ladies. Forgive Excuse me, darling. Me. I'm sorry. I mean, after 25 oh, years gosh. of friendship, it's thank okay. you. It's okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, we're sorry. Side. We are. Sorry. Let's let's start again. Yes. Right. I mean, <sighs> what were we doing? We were having a we nice cup of tea. You That's like right. tea. I love tea. Right. And you like uh, <laughs> you liked milk. I love milk with my tea and, and sugar with my tea. Two lumps of two milk. lumps of sugar. One. Thank you. Do. I mean, what a dumb thing, arguing about such a lovely thing as a cup of tea. Who cares whether you dumped a whole load of tea into Boston Harbor or not, right? Right. <laughs> I just don't know why you would do such a stupid thing in the first place. <laughs> oh, I'm... You... You don't think I did that on purpose. Oh, no, no, no. To do something on purpose, you would have to do something like um, that. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> now that's on purpose. Yes, I would call that on purpose. Or you could do something like this. Mm -mm. 
Mm -mm. <laughs> You'll be sorry. <laughs> no, I won't. <laughs> Twenty-five years of friendship. You see, yes. the first time Carol and I worked together, we sang a history of music from the 1900s to the 1960s. Yes, and then the second time we worked together, we did a show, we sang the music of the 60s. And so tonight, we have like the 70s and the 80s yeah. to catch up on. We better clean this mess up, though. Well, I, oh, it looks like the cleaning ladies have already started to do it. Aren't they nice? They're always around, ready to help. Yeah, they've been darling, haven't they? Yeah. I mean, have you noticed them standing in the wings, watching our every yeah. move? I think they know the medley better than we do. <laughs> I think we better get ready. Yeah, or they'll be making our entrance for us. Oh, chum, I am sorry. Me too. Oh, friends. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, what the heck, I love you too. <laughs> heard the famous story of the Phantom of the Opera, the sad masked figure who lived in the sewers of the Paris Opera House and transformed an unknown singer into a star. It is said that all great theaters claim a phantom or two. When the Nashville Opry played here years ago, it left behind not only the echo of great country music, it also left behind the Phantom of the Opry. twin sister Polly in this very theater years and years ago, so shape up! Oh, I'm pooped. I'm gonna go to the dressing room. My hair needs a nap. <laughs> in the meantime, I'm... <laughs> you stay out here, Missy, and you fix them woo-woos. Yes, Molly, righty-ho, Molly. Righty-ho, Molly. Boy, that's the last time I ever hire anybody that talks funny. <laughs> Um, hit it. Ooh, 
Phantom of the Opry. Oh, jolly good. And I can make you a star. Woo! Ooh, that sounds like fun. <laughs> you've done with your sewer. Sing for me. Uh, I I'm afraid I only know one song. Well, sing it. Ooh, that's it. You're going to be a star. Oh, no, no. Molly's the star. <laughs> He's washed up, finished, kaput, deep sixed. <laughs> uh, excuse me, if you don't mind my asking, why do you hate Molly so much? Why are you staring at me? Is my nose shiny? Well, half of it is, yes. Uh, why do you wear that mask? Ah! Oh! Oh! No, I understand. But... <laughs> haven't, haven't I seen you somewhere before? Polly and Molly's identical twin sister. Oh, of course you are. Oh, there's a real family resemblance. Come here. Are you in there? But why do you live down here in a sewer? I was Molly's backup singer years ago, and she hated my woo-woos. So she dumped me. Me, her own flesh and blood, and I had no place else to go, so I just moved down here into the sewer. Sewer. And all these years, I've been trying to figure out a way to get back at her. And now, oh, now that I have found you, I can at last take my revenge. Ooh, how are you going to do that? <laughs> <laughs> is so contagious. <laughs> um, what am... Oh, oh, don't leave me, Miss Phantom. What am I supposed to do? Trust me. Trust me. Well, waiting for the choo-choo. Oh, oh, that's, that's my cue. Oh, well, I'm waiting for the choo-choo that brings my baby back. Well, I'm waiting for the choo-choo, but the choo-choo passed me by. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. What were you doing down in the... What the hey? <laughs> you know what I'd like to do with you right now? <laughs> I'd like to tie a pork chop around your neck and send you out in the yard to play with my pit bull. <laughs> but I can't do that now. You know why? <laughs> because the audience is going to be coming in any minute, and i got to go out into the house and check the sound system. And unfortunately, I need you to be up here to sing your woo-woos. Now, you got that? Woo-woo! <laughs> Get that sandbag off of my stage. <laughs> Why do I have to do everything myself around here? <laughs> All right, sing your woo-woos. I, I can't see you. Where are you? I'm in front of your nose, you dumb cluck. I'm standing here right under this big, Call 911. Righty ho, I, I will. Oh, cancelled. Oh, no. <laughs> Stop sniveling. This is your big break. Oh, Miss Phantom, what am I supposed to do? Sing, you 
dumb club, oh. it's showtime! Sing right. a friendship, a terrific friendship. And when Carol and I get together, I'm reminded of how glad I am to have her in my life. I suppose it's because, along with the laughter, we make each other feel that we belong, that we fit in. It's so nice to find a, another nut in this world. All the time I thought, there's only me. Crazy in a way that no one else could be. I would have given everything I own if someone could have said, You're not alone. All the time I thought that I was wrong, wanting to be me but needing to belong. I would have given everything I had if someone would have said, you're not so bad. All the time, all the, time, all the waste of time, the waste of time all, all the years waiting for a sign to think we had it all, all the time, all the time. Hey, old friend, are you okay? Old friend, what do you say? Friend, are we or are we unique? Time goes by, everything else keeps changing. You and I, we get continued next week. Most friends fade or they don't make the grade. New ones are quickly.
Damn you. <laughs>